Welcome back to question two of this series on projectile motion problems. This time the question reads, a soccer player kicks a ball at an initial velocity of 17 meters per second at an angle of 34 to the horizontal. Suppose that the field is covered with fog down to 3.0 meters above the ground. What are the times for the ball's entry into and exit out of the fog? Just like what we did with question number one, let's begin with an illustration. And I'll make my illustration on an XY plane where the y-axis represents the height and the x-axis represents the time. And right at the very beginning when the ball is kicked, the velocity, which I'll represent as this vector, has a magnitude of 17 meters per second, and the angle that it makes with the ground is 34 degrees. Furthermore, as you kick a ball, it will take on a parabolic trajectory. So at the very beginning, it goes like this and then it eventually reaches its maximum and falls down back to the ground after this amount of time which we don't know. And somewhere along this x-axis there is fog that this ball will pass through. So let's make a representation of that. Let's say it's right here, that's where the fog starts. The ball will pass into the fog and then eventually exit the fog. And we need to find out what that is. And we'll call this y is equal to 3 because that's when it happens, at 3 meters above the ground. Now, what I will do is draw out this vector here so that you can see it clearly. So I will create a right triangle. And with right triangles, you can use trigonometric functions to help you find other sides. So this is 34 degrees. The magnitude of this vector is 17. And what we can do is use this formula right here to help us find the time when the height reaches 3.0 meters. Using this formula, we need to find out this. And what that consists of is the y component of this vector. You see this vector? It has a y component and it has an x component. Okay? So this part of the formula is the y component, which we can find using trigonometric functions, specifically sine. You see sine represents a comparison of opposite to hypotenuse. And this part right here, if we call this vector v, we can call this component v sub y and this component v sub x. So using sine, I can write down sine 34 opposite, which is vy over the hypotenuse of 17. Remember, sine is a comparison of opposite to hypotenuse. Solving for v sub y by multiplying both sides by 17, this and this cancel out, and we have v sub y is equal to 17 times sine 34. You can actually find out what this value is. It will give you a number, but I like to keep it like this because it's easier to work with. This right here is essentially this expression. So in some formulas you might see this written as v sub y minus everything else, but in this it's the extended form. Alright, so let me start to write this equation as y is equal to 17 sine 34 degrees multiplied to t minus 0 0.5 and the gravity here is an acceleration, but it's actually decelerating because the velocity is going in the opposite direction as gravity. The ball is being pulled down everywhere along this vector. And this is why it's minus 0 0.5, 9.8 t squared. So because the gravity is decelerating the velocity, we write down minus. All right. If I were to set this y value equal to zero, like I did in question number one, it would actually give me the times here and here. But I don't need it when y is equal to zero. I want to find out specifically when y is equal to three. And by setting y is equal to three, I can solve for t, and that will give me this t value, or this x value in our case, and this x value. Okay, so we will write down 3 is equal to 17 sine of 34 degrees times t minus 0 0.5, 9.8 t squared. 
And now let's go ahead and solve for t. This is a quadratic. Notice that we have a highest degree of t being of power of 2. So it's a quadratic by definition. I'll take this over and I have 0 is equal to negative 3 plus whatever that is. We'll find out soon. Minus negative 0 0.5 times 9.8 is negative 4.9 t squared. And you can use the quadratic formula at this point where you set that as your a value, all of this as your b value, and this as your c value. Although this is not a math question technically. It's a physics question. So we assume that you already know how to use the quadratic formula. I like to use a mode on my calculator that enables me to do that quickly. So my a value is negative 4.9. My b value is 17 times sine 34, like this. And that actually equals to 9.5062. So you could have found that out earlier if you liked. And your c value is negative 3. We get an x value, in our case t, time of 1.54, and another time that is 0 0.39. This means that at this initial velocity and at this angle, it will pass the fog initially at 0 0.39. So that's 0 0.39. And then it will come out of the fog at 1.54 seconds. And there you have it. Another question related to projectile motion problems. Make sure to watch question three for another example.